Hello. So I'm going to try this again. I did try this uh, yesterday and it didn't quite work out. I'm trying to this way. Yeah. Here we go. Anyway, I tried to do this yesterday and things went a bit weird and it didn't quite work out. So the project now is I'm trying to make it so that I don't have to, like, I want to try and record these videos and have them pretty much upload ready immediately. I want to, ha I don't want to have to pull it into an editing suite and add music to it and uh, sort out the audio and things like that. So I've got OBS, I've got a, a USB audio interface, I've got uh, some VST things going on and affecting the audio. One second. There we go. And so that's all very, did I just do it backwards? I did do it backwards. Anyway, so that's heading in the right direction. The biggest problem with that is if I go silent, you should hear nothing in the background. Like I have no background music, which is gonna make these videos a little bit. Nah. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make something to play music in the background from the, this system that I'm on. And then, no, it's that way. There's another computer. And when I look that way, so it's that way that I'm looking, but it's actually, anyway. When I have it that the music goes out of here and into the OBS and it should all be group. But, so let's me go into my text editor. Uh, background music app. Code Fred's awesome ultimate background music app that every YouTuber should be using. Okay, so what I want is I want I'm not even going to do funny stuff like that. I am going to I want to be able to load loops. Let me do an overview. This is an app that should take in loops, take in audio, and be able to loop it. The audio it will be given will be loopable music snippets, I think they're called stems. If they aren't, if they are, please let me know in the comments. If they aren't, please let me know in the comments what they are called. Um, so I want to be able to pull in stems or loop snippets. Um, and it should be able to play them on repeat. On top of that, I want to be able to, to feed in, uh, different types of stems either musical or percussive, i.e. a synth loop and a drum loop. So I want to be able to have two kind of loops and I want to be able to have like synth music without the drums and then the drums separately or, or whatever. I want to be able to split those up into as many tracks as I, as I, so yeah, or whatever arbitrary 
arbit arbitrary uh, stems that can be grouped into tracks. So I want to be able to have like tracks or whatever you call it and there are stems, kind of like you have in Ableton where you got your stems and then you can select them at rand, well, when you want to. Um, kind of like Ableton where you, you have grouped um, clips, stems, which can be triggered at will, but will only play on the beat slash bar slash in time. So if you're not able to, you can select a clip and it'll play when the next logical beat bar starts. So I want to be able to have that the system can select a clip and play it from a track, um, but it only kind of like comes in on the beat bar logical time slice music slice um, to make it more dynamic i want to so let's just look at this so this is an app that should take in audio and be able to loop it the audio it'll be given will be kind of snippets i think they're called stems and it should be able to play them on repeat uh, on top of that, I want to be able to feed in different types of stems, either musical or percussive, uh, i.e. a synth loop or a drum loop, or whatever arbitrary stems that can be grouped into tracks, kind of like Ableton Live. Live, where you have group clips of stems, which can be triggered, but will only play on the beat bar or in time. So uh, to make it more dynamic or to make it make the music automated and dynamic the system should map out a song structure uh, according to predefined uh, and the properties or attributes uh, slash ranges of, of properties and then select the clips slash stems per group uh, from the groups at in a semi-random fashion. So it should kind of have a song structure that it might be able to loop depending on how long the video goes or like how long it's the, the system runs for. And it should be dynamic so that it has parts that are a little bit quieter, parts that are like more intense. Um, and it'll build up those parts based on the tracks and then use so like kind of massage the clips in the tracks into into the song structure so i think that should be enough to kind of spec this out so one i should be able to import audio files uh, uh, audio files should be assigned to a group slash track um, uh, audio files So as clips and the clips should be assigned to tracks, group slash tracks to a group slash track. Um, 
clips should be arranged uh, a song structure should be generated on the fly determined by some kind of algorithm. Uh, clips should be used to fill in the song structure. The song structure should be dynamic. Should be musically dynamic. In other words, uh, have parts that are more or less intense. The song parts. Okay, I'm going to figure that out as I go. This needs some more thinking through. Uh, so I want a song structure, I want to be able to have tracks, I want to be able to load up the tracks. Um, uh, songs. and be loaded from directories where the structure of the directory directory will dictate the structure of the data in the song. subdirectory for clips which is further split into subdirectories the tracks so like I could have a, a song directory and in there is a clips directory and in there is subdirectories for the different tracks so there could be a percussion track and a, a like a drums track and a bass line track and a synth track and a lead track and a whatever. So the system can actually look at that and then pull those files in and group them by those directory groupings. So then I could essentially just build a directory somewhere else and pull it in like on a USB drive and bam, I could create some kind of a admin interface to be able to generate that directory. Um, but for now, maybe this is enough. I don't know how long have I been talking for now, 14 minutes. And so I think that'll be the planning part of this project. So I'm gonna stop the video there. And uh, in the next video, I'll be setting up the project. Thank you very much for watching.